All right, folks, welcome back to a, another video with flyfishingwithjeff.com. And today we're inside. I'm going to do a little tie for you. Uh, I'm going to tie a uh, small version, or a little heavier version, actually, of the uh, trout candy. And we're going to do so in gray today, put a little weight on it. So it'll allow you to get down and fish a little bit deeper, or maybe even fish with a floating line, like I like to do with my three weight keep the fly um, suspended below the surface for trout. Great fly for crappie, bass, just about anything out there right now. Um, I've got a TMC 300 size 8 TMCO 6X long hook ready to go and I've got a small cone head also affixed. I'm going <clears> to <throat> Go ahead and add a little bit more weight by taking several wraps with 0.025 lead. And we're going to move, continue to move that up right into the back of the cone head itself. Finish up the wraps at the back. Now we're going to come in with some big fly white thread. I like the big stuff, allows me to put a little tension on the fly. We're going to come right into the back here and wrap forward up to the back of the cone head and back out. Leave it right there, leave your thread right behind the cone head. Now, you're going to see that this is a very simple fly, does not take very long. And so I think sometimes people think, well, that can't work. Um, the truth is, this does work. It does work very well. We're going to now get a marabou, shad gray colored marabou quill. And pull it off, be ready to go with it, and we're going to come back in and start with our wrap right here behind the cone head and hold that marabou quill right on top as we move back with the thread to the back of and secure right behind that .025 wrap. Now I've got my marabou quill on there simply going to come back up now real quickly and drop that off and not worry about any excess that's on there. Now we're already on our last step. We're going to use Palmer, Chenille, and Small Gray. Um, I like this in small, medium, even the large stuff for various sizes of flies. I get mine at Fort Bennett out in Lebanon, Missouri. The folks there are great. They have a big uh, array of fly tying along with um, other materials. You can get a little bit of everything there at Fort Bennett, so stop in and see them the next time you're in that area uh, on your way to Bennett Springs or any of the other areas. But we're going to simply come in with our wrap right at the back, secure, move my thread back up to the front, right behind the cone head and we're going to take this wrap and we're going to palmer it forward. And again, this is a fly that you can fish comfortably on a floating line. I love to fish this in smaller lakes and streams with my three weight. Um, I also put it on underneath my uh, type 1 sink tip lines. <clears throat> allows it to get down even deeper. We're going to continue to palmer that forward right up to the back of that cone head. And we're going to wrap, tie it off. A couple quick wraps with white. off the excess. Now we're going to simply pull back those excess fibers, do a couple quick wraps right behind the cone head, 
pull that tight, come back in with our whip finish tool. And there it is. And again, it may just look way too simple, way too easy, um, but it's not. It's anything but. It's just a great fly, and it'll look like any a myriad of bait fish in your waters at home. In fact, I came across this pattern a few years ago, many years ago. In fact, when I caught a nice smallmouth and as I was um, <clears throat> bringing many belched up two of these little days, what I call days minnows, and they were gray shad colored, looked just like this. So anyway, I think you'll like this fly. Get out there, give it a shot. You can tie this in a whole wide range of colors. Um, I like it in cream. I like it in white, black, olive, browns. Uh, you can just tie this in just a a wide array and I think you'll do well on all of them so good luck with that